Well, most parents assume if their child gets good grades, they'll be able to get into a good college and succeed once they're there. But that's not always the case. What else is needed? Let's ask Natalie Speakman with Learning RX. Good morning. Good morning. And you have some great information to share with parents about preparing their teens for college. What should they be looking at? That's right. Most parents think that um, getting good grades in school is enough to predict that their student is going to get good grades and then also do well in college. Right. And it's important. Good grades are important, but that's you're saying that's not they the are only important, thing. but the, it's not always the case that good grades are going to indicate good grades or success in college. There's actually two parts to SMART. Okay, we have a first, graph to put up. Let's show that. Okay. The first part is knowledge, and the second part is IQ. Okay. So knowledge is information or academic things that a student is learning in school, such as algebraic equations, historical facts, and grammar. Okay. So this, they're the things that the student knows, okay? Um, IQ is a measurement of intelligence. So that's actually a measure of how well a student can think, focus, plan, remember, and problem solve. All right, so you know, how, how does, what role do these two play then as far as getting into college? I mean, are they actually looking at these two things then? They are, and both are important. Okay. But when it comes down to college admissions officers, they actually look a little bit more on the intelligence side or those underlying cognitive huh. abilities um, because those are really going to determine a little bit better um, how a student is going to react to the more rigorous academic requirements of college. And actually, um, these under underlying requirements are measured by ACT and SAT right. scores. And actually, SAT scores, um, it's kind of a thinly disguised intelligence test. So how well a student does on that test is going to tell those admissions officers how well or how likely that student is going to um, adjust and do well in college. That's interesting. That's why there's so much emphasis put on that. It is so important. And there was a new study that recently um, showed, too, how important this cognitive side is, if we could put that graphic up. Um, what types of percentages are we seeing? I mean, it's, it's, it's quite interesting to see really how much emphasis that cog those cognitive skills are, right. are. And this study is really telling to how important these underlying skills are. This study showed that students in the top 19% cognitively were admitted to state colleges. Okay, um, The top 9% cognitively made it into private schools, but only the top 0.2% made it into Ivy League schools. Wow. So what this is saying is that intelligence really is important when thinking about how a student is going to get into the college of their choice. That is so interesting. Okay, so parents are watching at home. They say, okay, my kid has good grades, but maybe they're concerned that those cognitive skills or test scores won't be good enough. So what can they do? Right. If parents are worried about what those scores are going to look like, or if a student has taken those tests right. already and the scores are less than satisfactory, that's the exciting thing about learning RX brain training. Our average student actually averages a 15 point increase in IQ. That's huge. That's huge. And what that does is it makes thinking, processing information, thinking and learning so much easier for that student. So actually what that's doing is creating a student who's more prepared for college and makes them more attractive to the schools of their choice and increases the likelihood of them succeeding when they get there. So how is this different than other college training courses? Okay, other college prep courses focus on cramming in knowledge. They're cramming in information to prepare a student for one single test. Mm. Intense one-on-one -on -one brain training prepares a student to be able to do that test well get into college, perform in a rigorous environment, and then also beyond. So they're able to also perform well in their career and really anything that they use their brain for. So it's really important to remember that one-on-one -on -one intense training can prepare anybody to be smarter and perform better. That's so interesting because people think IQ and a lot of times it's like, oh, that's just something, you know, we're born with, but to be actually able to train your brain is fascinating. It's exciting. Where can people get more information? Give us your website. Okay. People can go to learningrx.com forward slash college Colorado-Springs-North, and there's a lot of great information on our website. And we're going to have information on our website as well as a link, as well as a link if you couldn't uh, get through all that information right there. Thank you so much. Fascinating stuff. Thank you. We're hopefully helping a lot of kids out there That's right. get into college. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie.